In this day and age, we have so many ways to consume books. So many ways. One listener asked, what is the best way to read books? Print, audio, or ebooks? Hang on for a bit and I will give you my definitive answer on the subject. Hi, my name is Patricia Chapontier and welcome to episode 75 of the Life Writers Vlog, where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life stories. Since Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press in 1450 and created a way to mass produce books, our reading has centered on going to a library or a bookstore for our next hardback or paperback book. Spoken word books came into being about 1931 when the Library of Congress Books for the Adult Blind Project created the Talking Books program. The first books recorded on long play albums included sections of the Bible, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, plays and sonnets by Shakespeare, and some fiction works. I remember when I was in college at LSU having so much trouble understanding Shakespeare, I went to the library into these listening rooms to play the albums of Shakespeare's plays. Then came books on cassette tapes in the 1960s, followed by CDs in the 1980s. In 1998, Audible created a website where audiobooks could be downloaded. Also in 1998, the first dedicated ebook reader came out. In 2007, Amazon launched the Kindle e-reader and changed our reading world forever. Back to the listener's question. What is the best way to read books? Print audio or ebooks? Well, here's my definitive answer you've been waiting for. It depends. <laughs> it depends. It depends on what type of reader you are. If you're a love em and leave em reader like my husband is, he reads a book, forgets the content soon after he reads it, and gives the book away. Then any print book will work fine. Books I study and enjoy become like friends to me, and I can't bear to part with them. If you love to keep your favorite books, revisit them, and you have the space to do it, hardbacks and paperbacks will serve you well. If your bookcases are full, you have books piled up in corners, and you're using books as furniture, then you may want to consider audio or ebooks. Some people love the heft of a book in their hands. They enjoy turning the pages and can't get cozy with an e-reader. If that's you, then you best stick with printed books. If you're an auditory learner and can absorb more by listening than by reading, go with audiobooks. Also, if you're visually impaired, audiobooks are a godsend. As I said, it depends on the type of reader you are, the amount of space you have, and what feels best to you. This is my current book purchasing process. I like to read a book on my Kindle e-reader first. I always like to do that because I don't have very much space anymore. All of my bookshelves are packed. But then, if I really like the book and believe it's well written and one I might teach one day, then I buy a printed copy. If it's a book I decide to teach in our Life Writers membership, I often purchase the audio book to connect the author's voice with his or her words. Then I listen and follow along in the printed book while I prepare lessons. That's the way I read. What about you? Do you prefer to read printed, audio, or ebooks, or some combination of those? Do you read some genres one way and other genres in a different way? 
If you read printed books, what do you do with them afterward? Tell us about your reading habits in the comment section below. And always remember, the only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. And this applies to reading as well. If you're reading in any format, you're doing it right. Until next time, everybody, happy writing. Don't miss the next episode. Sign up to be notified of future posts and upcoming events. Use the buttons below to share this episode on social media or with a friend who might like it. If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a Get Started Roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them into words on the page, check out Life Writers at lifewriters.us.